This means you can have strings with zeros and ones where the fifth symbol from right is one. So one, two, three, four, five. The fifth symbol from right should be one. So this is zero. So this should not be accepted here. This one should be accepted. So this is what the mean by this question. Okay. So now let's construct this. So by seeing the question, what we know is we should have at least five transitions because uh, we have to test the fifth symbol. Okay. <laughs> so let's 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 take a simple example. Let's construct an NFA for this this part. Just uh, this part. So if I have to accept a string, something like this. Okay. So the very first state. Okay. We should accept one. And then consider x sub zero here, consider x sub zero here, q3. So again, x sub zero here, q4. Okay. And then x sub one, q5. And this, let this be the final stage. So this accepts a string where the fifth symbol is one and from where the fifth symbol from the right is one so one two three four five the fifth symbol is one it is accepting this string okay so now this also means that i can accept this only this right the fifth symbol from right will be one so what will become i mean what we have to do for this nfa so we have to accept one zero here, one zero here, here. Correct? Okay. Now, all this is fine, but I can accept a string like this. I mean, this one. So that means, before this fifth one, I should be able to accept zeros and ones. So let's see. Let's accept zeros and ones here. So you can write any string with the fifth symbol from the right has one and that string will be accepted by this NFA. Hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching.